Hello students, welcome to your geography class. Hope all of you are sound and healthy. Yes students, I have got so many of your valuable feedback which is really inspiring to me. So down with me that whatever I am writing so that in next time you can easily understand whenever you are going through the video. Pattern of population. Through the census, in every census, People are changing number of total population in a country changing. If we see the total population whatever it was before and nowadays our different total our also we can say a huge difference is there. Like in 1800 the population it was only 1 billion. Then 1927 it become that 2 billion. 1960 3 billion 1974 4 million 1987 5 billion 1999 6 billion 2011 7 billion and 2020 it is running this time it is 7 billion sorry 8 billion can you imagine how the population also changing and the it is the growth rate how it is increasing wherever more than 100 years it has taken at the beginning to change the population number but gradually gradually it is also changing within very less time more than 1 billion okay student so if you also that make a graph different year graph years graph scale on that if you put that if you will get to see exponential curve okay means rising curve through that we easily can get to know that which year that how many people also people basically that grow or what are the difference in that total population so this curve is showing the number of population changing in different years this is known as demographic transition. What is demographic transition? Demographic transition. Number of population changing in different years. Through a curve we are getting to know that that is known as the demographic transition. Students, country like Asia, South America, South Africa, these countries are having high birth rate and some of the also developed countries like North America, Europe, they are having that also less birth rate. Due to that, this country is also basically developing still this South, uh, that South Africa, South America, that Asian country still developing, they are not coming in that category of develop because these countries are not able to provide their necessary that uh, ever, even they are satisfactory that all resources. Okay, so this is known as that pattern of population. Next we will get to know population characteristic. What is population characteristic? In that through that census we can get to know different that information about population like birth rate, death rate, migrate, uh, migrants that we all get to know as well as we also can get to know about population characteristic sticks we also can get to know about that sex ratio then age structure and then dependent and working population so here through sex ratio we can get to know about male and female through age structure we can get to know about the different that age group like children like adult like aged age group and dependent means who are not working 
and working means those who are produ producing and somehow they are engaged in some that production system okay so here we will get to know about them sex ratio so the definition here number of females female part thousand of male if we will see the current that uh, status of that country according to 2011 census india is having 940 female per thousand of male which is also very less but in some state we will get to see this sex ratio is very uh, having very good scenario like state like this is the average one in india kerala having 108084 female per thousand of male puducherry having 1052 female per thousand of male and some northeast uh, that states are also having good scenario but if i see the ncr area you will surprise though ncr area is developed one even having all the facilities but sex ratio scenario is not good whereas this situation in the country they are daily having 866 female per thousands of male haryana having 861 females per thousands of male punjab 889 female per thousands of male up 879 female per thousands of male it is i am only giving the example of that also in sea region you should know the capital areas are also lacking okay and why this sex ratio is very less due to superstition dowry due to less education even people are not ready to accept uh, their culture somehow that domestic violence malnutrition these are the different reasons which is also leading this less sex ratio in our country is it clear so i am going to the next point that is age structure what is age structure the definition is distribution of population in different age group distribution of population in different age group <coughs> distribution of population in different age group so here we will get to see main three age group according to the census main first is children who are having the age below 15 years and their proportion is 34 percent of total population number two the adult group or the middle group they are the age group 15 to 65 years they are maximum 59.1 percent of total population number three aged or old more than 65 years they are only 6.9 percent of total population so total here we will get to see 100 percent of total this total population 100 percent population among these children 34 percent adult 59.1 percent aged 6.9 percent here I will also explain with this the dependent and working population. Students like you, you are not eligible to do any work in factories or any of that sector. Because in our constitution, in article 24, it is clearly written and mentioned that students and even children below that 15 years, even 14 years, they are not allowed to work any of the factories, any of that sector. And this will also, that uh, it means referred as child labor. So here, 
you are getting to see this 34 stu uh, percent of total population this is the dependent population they are not producing anything even they are not participating any of the manufacturing uh, or production area they are not involving themselves in the, in the development of that country they are known as the dependent population dependent they are dependent on others like you are dependent are depending on your parents also financially and economically is it clear next number two is adult 15 to 65 years this age group known as the working independent and most productive and reproductive age group they maximum earn uh, in this um, country economically developed as well as they are developing this country okay they are producing they are also they are engaged in some manufacturing units and they are helping to develop the country economically next aged group more than 65 years of age here we can't say this age group totally independent or totally dependent why because some of them they earn daily and they spend they are not having any deposit or savings that's why somehow when they lost their job they depend on others on their children or somehow on others to survive that's why they are becoming dependent on the other hand those people they retire from service they are having some savings they survive by that also they are savings even they are getting pensions so they are not depending on any others that is mean they are independent so here this age group known as that partially independent what is partially independent is it clear student so how this different age group is categorized in dependent on working population today i am going to finish with the last point that is population pyramid <coughs> population pyramid hope all of you know this is pyramid okay but here the population pyramid means <coughs> a a sex pyramid through that we can get to know different characteristic of population like birth rate death rate number of females number of males and num different age group some of that every countries are not having the same kind of pyramid some of the countries are having the pyramid like first this is that axis always female will be at the right angle sorry right side and male will be left side here you are getting to see female are less than male like that here you are seeing the base is broad it means children are more here when children will be more we need better education like school colleges okay we need uh, better nutrition for this children group so here i have given example another country can be a pyramid like here you are getting to see middle age at a maximum means this country adult group are more they are helping for the developing of the countries because they are the producing and working age group okay number three i am giving the example here okay this kind of here we are getting to see the aged group are maximum when the aged group are a maximum means 
they need better medical facilities somehow in this type of countries having good life expectancy so student here in new term we get got to know that what is life expectancy means number of years a person expected to live up to birth what is the average that year a person can expect to live that is known as life expectancy in our country the life expectancy is 67 years average years okay you will also think that at your also time of your uh, grandparents they were having more that age compared to that average but yes this is the time where we are also intaking different chemicals and different that also foods which is not fresh that's why the life expectancy gradually gradually decreasing clear so students today i have a cover up these all points hope you have understood and whatever your doubts please feel free to ask on that portal and please share your valuable feedback thank you so much